a diet plan is being created for special patients after surgery. The orders from a doctor state that the patient can take in 25 grams of protein from a specialty supplement. If you know that a four ounce serving contains 44 grams of protein, then how many ounces can the patient have? Okay, so we wanna know how many ounces. And actually first, maybe for those who are not familiar, um, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. <clears throat> so when they're asking us for how many ounces, <clears throat> we're looking for the amount of weight. You can also say mass if you like. So weight or mass. Okay, so here. Now we want to round this to the 10th, okay, I guess if necessary. So let's write down all of these givens. <clears throat> so they're only supposed to take 25 grams, okay, of this protein, I guess, for whatever reasons, okay, after the surgery. Now we know that four ounce serving contains 44 grams of protein. So four ounces, and four ounces is O Z, okay, and that is giving us 44 grams, okay, of protein. Okay, so let me define this. So let, okay, since I said weight here, I guess I'll write W. You can write mass if you want. Let W be the weight. Okay, which is related to this supplement. And now, okay, so let's begin. So W equals. So this is a proportion type of problem and it's basically just unit cancellations. So I always start with um, the given that has the single unit. So we wanna have 25 grams of protein and now, okay, we're gonna be multiplying, we wanna get the weight in ounces, right? So we want this weight in, okay, ounces as they have told us, okay? So how many ounces? So I don't wanna have grams, but I do know that this drink, okay, or this supplement has 44 grams. And notice I have grams on top, so I'll put grams at the bottom. It is like unit cancellations. So this will be 44 grams at the bottom and then four ounces on top and those are the only givens that I have and notice what happens is that the grams cancel off and all you're left with is ounces which is exactly what we wanted so this will tell us okay how many ounces we would have to give this patient okay and let's say some measuring okay tool that we would have so that they abide to the doctor's orders so I can take up the calculator here. So I have 25 multiplied by four. Okay, so that's 100. Okay, and then 100 divided by that 44. And that is equal to 2.2727. I guess it's a repeater there. And I want the answer to the 10th. So if we were measuring this up, this would be 2.3 okay, ounces of the supplement. Okay, that is it for this particular example. It's actually a, a great one. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found.